The National Farm Bureau president says what's happening to farmers and ranchers at the border is heartbreaking. He's now seen the impact of the historic immigration surge firsthand. Washington Bureau Chief Emily Buck reports. A Farm Bureau trip to the border ranged from McAllen, Texas, where immigrant families often come seeking asylum in overwhelming numbers, to Del Rio, where there's a higher rate of people trying to cross ranch country to enter the U.S. illegally. American Farm Bureau President Zippy Duvall called the situation heartbreaking. Our farmers and ranchers are worried about their, their safety and their, their family safety and their employees' safety. Uh, they're worried about the security of their property and and uh, their farm machinery and equipment. Uh, you know, some of them's had their homes looted. Uh, they've seen their f fences torn down numerous, numerous times uh, with great expense of them. They've seen water sources tampered with and, and compromised. In areas without a federal border wall, ranchers are responsible for their own fencing and are dealing with growing biosecurity concerns as diseases can easily cross with immigrants and livestock. The trick is still a problem in certain parts of the state. So uh, if you have any movement to cattle, I mean, it's an expensive process to clean up your herd if you have tricks. So uh, that's one of the other things that you want to be sure that you take care of. And it's in a lot of places just a rundown barbed wire fence that the landowner is responsible for maintaining. New Mexico Farm Bureau President Craig Ogden says better manpower, resources, and technology would help border control. They didn't continue the process to put in the ground sensors, which would uh, show any movement on the ground. So they're just having to use old technology, which is basically you drag tires that smooths the ground, and then they'll see any footprints that go along the ground. So if we have the technology, it's time we use them. Official Farm Bureau policy is to enforce rule of law and secure the border. Texas Farm Bureau President Russell Boehning says it would help to at least stem the flow of people to give authorities a chance to catch up. Let's stop the, the flow in right now to, to figure out to figure out how we're going to do this. If we're going to grant asylum to, to, to asylum seekers that are that that are deserving of it, that that, that, that qualify for it, and and uh, because so many folks are coming, and and it's just overwhelming, it's overwhelming the services. The group of Farm Bureau leaders did have a conversation with White House staff about the issue, but so far has not been offered help or a solution from the administration. For RFD-TV, I'm Emily Buck. Emily, we appreciate that. Well, congressional staffers from Texas and New Mexico joined the Farm Bureau for that trip. A group of Texas lawmakers introduced a bill that would help landowners recover economic damages from the surge.